Hello and welcome to another episode of Judge of Character. As always, I'm your host, Steve. Now, typically when I pick a character for this show, it's usually because I already know they have something to offer as far as material. Maybe they've had an effect on culture or storytelling, or maybe they're just an awesome character in general. It's not often that I pick a character because I'm genuinely pissed off. Not at the character themselves, mind you, although that has happened before. No, in this case, I'm pissed off because of this guy. This is David S. Goyer, a director and writer whose credits include writing for the Blade trilogy, the new Batman movies, and even the second Crow movie. However, a few months ago, he quickly gained the reputation of being that guy who called She-Hulk a porn star. He also made mention of the fact that She-Hulk is the woman Hulk would fuck. Now, I want you to remember what I just said, because it's going to have a very disturbing callback later in this episode. In fact, I'll go ahead and give you a warning later on so that when this callback does occur, you can have your vomit bucket ready. You're gonna need it. Naturally, this caused a scene amongst comic fans, especially after Goyer further stuck his foot in his mouth by saying that the few people who've ever heard of Martian Manhunter, a superhero from DC Comics, likely had never had sex. I'd like to point out that I have heard of Martian Manhunter, but I've also had sex. Haven't gotten it in a while, but when I was getting it, I was getting plenty of it. Anyway, uh, because of the hoopla this whole thing has caused, I've decided to devote an entire episode to She-Hulk. You know what, I'm really glad I did, and you'll find out why, because tonight we're learning all about She-Hulk. So, who is she, and what makes her a memorable character? She-Hulk is the superhero name for Jennifer Walters, a character in the Marvel Universe who is attacked one day by a group of mobsters. Bleeding out, and with no other donors available, Walters is saved when her cousin, who happened to be in town at the time, donates some of his blood to save her life. Remember when I said I'd warn you about that disturbing callback? Well, this is it. Have your vomit bucket handy. And who was this cousin? Why, none other than Bruce Banner, the Hulk himself. The same Hulk that David Goyer says She-Hulk was meant to fuck. So you see, in addition to saying that all nerds are virgins, and apparently outing himself as a misogynist, David Goyer is also a big supporter of incest. You may now commence with your projectile vomiting. But despite what Goyer thinks, there's a lot more to this character than her boobs. One thing about her is her relation to the character of the Hulk, her cousin. In a nutshell, She-Hulk is essentially a distaff counterpart to the Hulk. And what's a distaff counterpart, you ask? Why, I'll tell you! A distaff counterpart, in layman's terms, is basically where you take a popular character and create a spin-off by making a character that is like them in almost every way, but with the main difference being a change in reproductive organs. Distaff is meant to denote female variations of characters, like Supergirl, Spider-Woman, and even a Batwoman. When done in the opposite direction, that is, creating a male spin-off of a popular female character, it's known as a spear counterpart. Because, you know, spear equals penis, right? <laughs> anyway, She-Hulk is quite obviously a distaff counterpart to the Hulk, but the story of how she came to be a character is actually really interesting. She-Hulk's first official appearance was in 1980 in Savage She-Hulk No. 1, but the concept of the character actually first appeared on the Benny Hill Show of all places, in a sketch where a woman hulks out after being groped at a bus stop. And let's face it, ladies, wouldn't you want to do that? Seeing this happen, while also worried that the producers of the Incredible Hulk series might beat them to it, Marvel quickly leaped on the idea and created the character so that if it appeared on TV, they would own the rights. Since her first appearance, She-Hulk has gone on to become one of the more popular characters in Marvel's roster, as well as quite possibly being one of the most popular female superheroes of all time. And after tonight, you'll understand why. So, what is it that makes her so great? Well, as always, let's start with her personality. She-Hulk's personality is actually in stark contrast to her cousin, which further helps to solidify her status as the Hulk's distaff counterpart. Whereas Bruce Banner is often depicted as being withdrawn and socially deprived due to his fear of turning into the not-so-jolly green giant, Jennifer Walters is much more energetic, with a very healthy social life. Not only that, but unlike her cousin, she doesn't go into a mindless rampage whenever she hulks out, although this was the case in the earlier issues. This actually creates an interesting element to the character in regards to her two forms. Jennifer Walters is often considered meek and kind of timid. But She-Hulk, on the other hand, is confident, sexy, and powerful. Because of this, Walters often prefers to stay in her Hulk form most of the time, even when she's practicing law. That's right, folks! She's a lawyer! Oh my god, could you imagine being in her courtroom? Swear to god, I'll admit anything. Just don't let her near me. I object! That's intimidating the witness, your honor! I respectfully withdraw my objection. Wow. The fact that she's a practicing lawyer should tell you that Walters is incredibly smart. But she's no ordinary lawyer, she's an ethical lawyer. What? That's not impressive anymore? 
Actually, it is, because it says a lot about her as a person. She doesn't save the world just by fighting bad guys. She also does it by being a public defense attorney, a job that is notorious for its low wages, and defending ordinary people. She's defended minorities, the mentally ill, and even civil liberties. She's shown to be very concerned with the well-being of others of all kinds in regards to the law. This does, however, create an interesting problem on certain issues, such as the Superhuman Registration Act, an event which she at one point supported but then reversed her stance on. In addition to her moments as a lawyer, Jennifer is an all-around upstanding human being, considering that she started her own disaster relief organization and even helped to rebuild a town that she had partially destroyed. All of this shows that she has a very altruistic personality, something that is, well, pretty much a standard for all superheroes. It's the kind of personality that I think any upstanding, decent human being should have. Something David Goyer doesn't know anything about! But since she is She-Hulk, naturally she's going to have some badass tendencies, right? Well, duh! She's the cousin of the Hulk, what would you expect? But there is an interesting thing to note here. Obviously, She-Hulk is strong, but Jennifer Walters has actually taken to studying fighting and working out in human form so that her strength will be exponentially greater as She-Hulk. It's even been speculated that She-Hulk may very well be the strongest character in the Marvel Universe. And if you need more proof, she punched Thanos! Yeah! So yeah, badass is kind of an obvious trait. But there's actually another element to the character that I want to talk about. This particular subject requires a certain amount of maturity and decorum. Now, I may not be the most mature individual on the planet, but I will do my best to tackle this subject with all the care and concern it deserves. And what is the subject? <laughs> it's sex! <laughs> I know what you're thinking. How in the hell does sex have anything to do with the character, and how could it possibly contribute to her status as memorable? Well, as far as what it has to do with her, She-Hulk has proven to be very... promiscuous. I don't mean that in a bad way, I'm using the word as it's meant. She-Hulk gets around. However, while many other characters are obviously sexually active, She-Hulk's sex life gets an unusual amount of attention, both good and bad. The bad part of it is, of course, the double standard. She-Hulk has slept with a lot of men, and is often called out as a slut or a skank. But then you've got characters like Tony Stark or Wolverine who get around and they're called players. What gives? Just the old mindset that says that men who sleep around are Adonises, and women who sleep around are whores. Gee, sounds like Fedora Man's been here. However, one could argue that there is a good side to this. The way that the comics depict the situation, even if it is humorous, helps to draw attention to the fact that it is a double standard, one that honestly has no basis in truth. We've already seen proof that She-Hulk is a fantastic person who genuinely cares about other people and tries to help. So what does her sex life have to do with any of that? Not a goddamn thing. You hear that, Goyer? Not a damn thing! Contrary to what some religious stick in the muds might say, sex is healthy. Sex is good. It shouldn't be used as a weapon against someone's integrity as an individual, nor should it be used as a defining characteristic for some people, which, sadly, is still a thing these days. She-Hulk helps to show that sex shouldn't be viewed as an identifier. In fact, this is the big point in favor of the character. She sees absolutely nothing wrong with having sex, as long as it's between two consenting adults. Even if her costume is obviously the byproduct of a man and his fantasies, She-Hulk is still a great example of having the right attitude in regards to sex, both in fiction and in reality. Just don't mention Juggernaut. At all. Now, in everything that I've said, there's been an underlying element that I've only briefly touched upon earlier. That is the disconnect between Jennifer Walters and She-Hulk. Jennifer Walters and She-Hulk are one and the same, but you'd almost wouldn't believe it with the way the character views both her forms. In her mind, Walters is the timid, mousy girl no man would want, while She-Hulk is the beautiful Amazon all men drool over. Because of this mindset, Walters prefers to be in She-Hulk mode as often as possible. This is actually an interesting take on something most people feel at some point in their lives. Oh, I'd be so much happier if I looked like some Greek god or goddess. However, She-Hulk is often surprised to learn that many men actually prefer her in her normal form, as opposed to her Hulk out form. This is one of my favorite elements of the character. She-Hulk likes to play with the whole body image issues idea by having the main character think that her hulked out form is more attractive than her normal appearance, when in reality her normal appearance actually nets just as many suitors as her hulked out form. That's not to say that She-Hulk herself isn't attractive at all. Do you have any idea how long it took for me to sort through all the porn in those images?
Speaking of porn, and that's never a good segue, did you know that there was actually a porn parody of The Avengers featuring former wrestler China as She-Hulk? That's the most I could get away with showing you. Well, let's wrap this up, shall we? In the end, She-Hulk is really an exceptional character in so many ways. She's smart, strong, and fiercely independent. She doesn't care about what you think of her and her love life, but she does care about helping people and not just as a green-skinned superhero. Really and truly, She-Hulk is actually a very good role model for women in general. She shows you can be an upstanding person, but also have a good time as well. If there was any character I'd have my daughter idolize, it'd be She-Hulk. Of course, I'd have to keep her from wearing the leotard. And then, I'd also have to have a daughter in the first place. Anyway, that, that was She-Hulk, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode, because after tonight, she's quickly become one of my favorite characters. If you've never experienced her for yourself, I highly recommend you go to your local comic book shop, if you have one near you, or go online and find one, and pick up an issue for yourself, and enjoy what she has to offer. I'm your host, Steve, reminding all of you, stay in character. Oh, um, apparently I'm getting a text. Ah, from a friend of mine who also enjoys She-Hulk. Um, apparently there was a, a What If comic that showed Hulk and She-Hulk having had sex and had kids. Excuse me for one minute. Ha 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 ha!